So in this video, we're going to integrate. We have a uh, cinch of the square root of x divided by the square root of x. So if you've never done this problem before, um, the natural thing to try is a u substitution. And what would you try? Well, you would let u be that piece. That's what's inside the trig function, or the hyperbolic trig function. So if we let u be equal to the square root of x, we have to compute du. So first we have to rewrite this in a nice way. We can write this as x to the 1 half. And now we can take the derivative. So du, well, when you differentiate x to the 1 half, you put the 1 half in the front. And then you get x. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. And then you get dx. The goal is to make this look like this, right? So we're not quite there yet. So maybe we'll start by bringing this guy downstairs, and it'll become x to the 1 half. And then we'll put the 2 over here. We can multiply by 2. So multiplying by 2, we get 2 du. Let's just do it the way the pros do it. Multiply by 2, you get 2 du. You bring this guy downstairs, you get 1 over, well, the x to the 1 half becomes the square root of x dx. That's the pros do it, just all at once, right? So multiply by 2, multiply by 2, it cancels, bring this down, it becomes x to the 1 half, and then the x to the 1 half turns into the square root of x. And now you have what you want, right? Because this is right here, and it's equal to 2 du. So this is equal to the integral. Well, this whole piece, it's circled, is 2 du, you can pull the 2 out. It's usually much, much cleaner to pull numbers out. You don't have to pull out, but it's usually safer and cleaner. Not always. In some cases, it's better to leave constants in. I usually prefer to pull stuff out. So 2 cinch u du. That's it, right? So what happened to this? Well, it went away, right? It went away, right? Because this over this is 2 du. And then what's left? Cinch u, cinch u. What's the integral of cinch? Cosinch, right? What's a function whose derivative is cinch? Cosinch, right? So, so you integrate cinch, you get cosinch back and forth. So this is 2 cosinch u plus c. Oh, it's almost so easy, it hurts. 2 and then u is the square root of x. This is cosinch square root of x plus c. Kind of a, kind of a cool problem. I hope that makes some sense. 